Russia, 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 Russia. You found it. Reptilian. I did. I'm glad you found it. This is. We're gonna we're gonna need it a lot in the coming weeks. I know. Yeah. This is americamagazine.org, otherwise known as the Jesuit Review. Mm -hmm. As a Russian invasion of Ukraine looms, Pope Francis calls for a world day of prayer. It says here, as tensions increase in Europe over fears of a Russian invasion of Ukraine, Pope Francis has issued a heartfelt call for a world day of prayer for peace on January 26. Quote, I am following... I'm sorry, quote, I'm following with concern an increase of tension that threatened to inflict a new blow to the peace in Ukraine and call into question the security of the European continent with wider repercussions. He told pilgrims in St. Peter's Square on Sunday, January 22nd, which is kind of weird because Sunday was the 23rd. Come on, Jesuit review. Get your calendar straight unless you're on a different timeline, Jesuits. Looking at you. Okay. Russia has amassed some 100,000 troops and military hardware on its border with Ukraine, as well as Belarus, on the nor northern side of the Ukraine, while the Ukraine government has told its 43 million people to prepare for war. Ukraine is the second largest country in Europe in terms of size after Russia and was part of the USSR until it regained its independence in 1991 following the dissolution of the Soviet Union. And it goes into a little more of the history here. I think, Basil, they're setting this up, the, the Russia-Ukraine tension, uh, the Pope having some kind of day of prayer over it, feels like to me that, that there's going to be some action here. You know, if the Jesuits are uh, rolling out the prayer call, seems yeah, like they have well, something I... a little more planned. For well, the next there's, few days and weeks. yeah, there's certainly plenty of signals that something very well could happen. Um, yeah, well, you know, that is kind of the way the Jesuits work as far as the, the organization is concerned. You know, there is a lot of this messaging and, and uh, communication that happens. Right. And that very well may be what we're, what we're seeing. I mean, there are so many signals uh, it, that are pointing towards Russia making a move on this. and uh, But this may be, yeah, you're right, one of the more sort of esoteric and definitive signals that we should, uh, we should take heed of. The Pope says a lot of things all the time. He's always in the news. Mm -hmm. uh, but for some reason, this particular article struck me, and this news about the Pope calling for the, the prayer for the Russia-Ukraine situation, mm -hmm. seems to me like it is a... You know, drawing the attention. Why, why draw the attention if uh, something wasn't going to go down? So it le yeah. leads us into the politics of it all. 